tonight's game, over 250 supporters gathered at Fulton Brewery for a pregame party. Their goal was to have some fun, but more importantly, to raise funds for the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Twin Cities. All of those folks are heading over to Target Field to watch the game with club kids. The event has served as a major fundraiser for the clubs with nearly a million dollars raised over the past 10 years. That is an awesome organization, and they've marched all the way over to Target Field. These kids from the Boys and Girls Clubs have made their way here for the Twins and the Dodgers game tonight, and we continue on Twins Live, presented by CenturyLink. Tonight marks the 10-year anniversary of the Kids in the City event, and it marks also a lasting partnership between Fox Sports North and the Boys and Girls Clubs. There are eight different clubs in the Twin Cities, and as Jamie Hirsch reports, these clubs make a lasting impact on local families. This is a place for boys and girls to come and play. I can make friends, help out, and then I can also be happy. It's a safe place for after school fun and a place where education comes first. We always say basketball gets them in the door because they want to play basketball and run around the gym. But once they're there, it's, it's life changing the things that the, the dedicated staff teach them and, and help them to just become better kids. What are some of the things that you learn by coming to the Boys and Girls Club? Um, to be nice to others, be respectful if you want others to be respectful to you. Um, be responsible with your stuff, like, and keep up with your homework because it's going to catch up with you when you get in college and stuff. The Boys and Girls Club has impacted countless young people across the Twin Cities for over 50 years. And Fox Sports North, Buffalo Wild Wings, and the Minnesota Twins are proud to support such a worthy cause. Last year we donated over $1.5 million to clubs across the country in, a, in an all-star grant program that we started last year. And that's really about trying to get kids onto sports teams because we think that when a kid is on a team, um, it teaches them accountability, builds their self-esteem, and gives them a lot of those life skills that they'll need to be successful later on. The Twins have a long history working with the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, Carl Polite helped to found the Boys Club, as it was called in Minneapolis back in the 50s. And um, as we just see the impact that they make on kids' lives, and we want to help them. I personally think that there's no better investment than in the youth and the people of, of the future. And so we've, we've kind of put our stake in the ground to be a, a key partner for us. I've seen firsthand the positive change that comes about about to affect the kids' lives, and to be able to support that, I think we have the responsibility to give back to our community. Through good behavior, good attendance, and volunteer opportunities, kids have a chance to be a Fox Sports North All-Star. There are 12 All-Stars from the eight different Twin Cities clubs, and those kids have a unique opportunity to then enjoy a baseball game at Target Field. Kids in the City is a celebration of what they've accomplished throughout the year. We have the opportunity to bring them to a special venue to really celebrate them at the venue and on television. You gotta work hard, like you gotta do good around the Boys and Girls Club, help with stuff, and like when you go there, it's just so much fun. This year marks a decade of fun, with an incentive for these kids in the city to be the best they can be all throughout the year. I think it's really provided motivation for them to succeed on a daily basis, so as they kind of earn points, if you will, throughout the year, then they get rewarded at the end of the year. So over 90 kids get to come and, and be celebrated for their accomplishments. It's a really great way to celebrate all of the wonderful kids from these clubs, and, and it's their way to recognize the outstanding kids that are part of Boys and Girls Club here in the Twin cities. And the All-Stars are here at Target Field. They've gathered around behind home plate. They've made their way almost all the way around the in infield. They're bundled up. Hi, guys. Are you excited for this tonight? Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Now they're all coming. Be my friend. <laughs> I'm all your friend. They've been watching themselves on the big screen, dancing and waving all night long. Just a few weeks ago, one of the club kids, hi, dear, received the highest honor that any club kid re can receive, being named Youth of the Year, Glow Lee Mua has been a club member since the age of six, and she is now the Minnesota State Youth of the Year. She's the ninth and youngest child of Hmong immigrants. As the Youth of the Year, Go will receive the Home Team Scholarship from Fox Sports North in conjunction with the Timberwolves, Twins, Vikings, and Wild. It's $25,000. 